Hello, my name is Ashton Gleckman, and I'm the director of the film We Shall Not Die Now, which is a film that chronicles the Holocaust. So for the film, I traveled around the world and spoke to over 25 survivors, uh, scholars, liberators, and the last living prosecutor of the Nuremberg trials, which as we approach the 75th anniversary of these events, I feel it's ever you know, so important to continue to discuss and learn and reflect on these events so that we can help to inform the now and also the future. As we approach this stage where in 20, 30 years we won't have survivors to speak to directly, they've taught me a lot about the importance of humanity treating others with dignity and all these lessons that we learn from the Holocaust are incredibly important and relevant in the world we live in now. So I traveled around the world um, to 13 different states in the United States, and I also traveled to Poland to film at all of the concentration camps, including Auschwitz. When I was seven years old, I visited the Indiana Children's Museum, and I actually saw the Anne Frank exhibit. And so her words and the way that she wrote her diary really resonated with me as a kid. And in the following years, I learned that my great uncle was one of the liberators of the Buchenwald concentration camp. And so all the sort of puzzle pieces started to come together. I saw Schindler's List when I was eight years old, and as every single film came out, whether it's Boy in the Striped Pajamas, Defiance, I continued to watch films, read books, go to survivor public speaking events, and it was something that has always really resonated with me. So early this year, I really decided to go full force into the project. So the first thing I did was begin to put together all of the research, and I headed over to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. And I spent a lot of time in the archives with the scholars, going through over 70 years of archival material. It um, definitely informed the way that I made the film. And so with the film, I really wanted to tell the story chronologically. So the film will take you from 1939 through 1945, and will show you about how a lot of these subjects have really come to um, develop over the past few hundred years and lead into the Holocaust and how everything sort of transpired. This film for me was really about telling the story of the Holocaust through a variety of different perspectives. So whether that's survivors, liberators, prosecutors, scholars, families of survivors, perpetrators, we were going through the archives and really trying to discover the way in which we can tell the story from every single lens and take the audience through an experience where they see the events through many different kinds of windows. And so for us, you know, it started with these interviews and it started with going to places all around the world to speak with the survivors. The next thing that we did was really go through over 100 hours of archival interviews at the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. So whether that was documentary footage from Claude Lanzmann's documentary Shoah, whether that was going through the oral history collection uh, or the Steven Spielberg archival collection, it was really about putting together all the different resources that we could assemble, looking at every single source of all of this material and trying to put it together to one cohesive story to take the audience through these events. For this film, we did not want to use a narrator. We wanted the film to be told completely by first-person testimony. So throughout the 150-minute duration of the film, you are going to be hearing directly from the people who experienced these events, from different camps, different parts of the world. So ever since I was seven years old, I've been researching the Holocaust, whether that's reading books, seeing movies, speaking to survivors, and no matter how much I did those things, I couldn't have prepared myself for what it's like to actually walk through the gates of Auschwitz-Birkenau or to walk the streets of the Warsaw Ghetto. When I started the project, I didn't know what to expect going into it. And coming out of the project, I realized that as much tragedy as the Holocaust encompasses, as much loss as there was, there's also an equal amount of hope. And the reason why these survivors continue to tell their stories, continue to share with us in the form of movies, of books, and continue to speak out in the world is that they see this potential of us continuing to make this world a better place by adapting these lessons of the Holocaust.
whether it was when we were making the film or before we started making the film, we would get together and just have conversations on you know, what we really wanted to capture with the film. And for us, it was really about creating an opportunity to speak with audiences and to create a platform for a lot of these survivors and a lot of the messages that they have to share about the Holocaust, creating that platform and sharing it with the world through that. Making the film has affected me deeply, but a film needs an audience. I hope that by sharing this film with you, you can take something from it and apply the messages to the world around you.